Hey guys, so you told me you would be interested in uh, me talking about, uh, talking to you about brows because uh, I'm quite obsessed with brows. It's very important to me. No, nobody never touch them, never pluck them, never wax them. I never let anyone touch touch them because I'm very very fond of my brows and I'm very attached to them and I don't want any anybody to do anything to them. And I tried, I think I was lucky enough not to overplug them too much when I was a teenager because it's the time you normally plug them till here and very fine here and it's just horrible and you struggle a lot to, to, to have them back then because it's not easy to grow them back. So I overplugged a little bit when I was like 15, 16, but not too much because now they are okay. So. I think it's so important because it's the, it's the architecture of your look, of your eyes, or it's the frame of your look. It's really important. And uh, what I do is I plug them a little bit, not too much, but a little bit to have something quite clean. I mean, it's not that uh, it's dirty if it's not plucked, of course, because I admire so much girls who never plucked them, their brows. It's really, I, I, I have such an, an, an admiration for them because it, I think it's beautiful. When it's absolutely natural and you have the small hair here and the small hair here and you see they never touched it and I think it's amazing. It's really, I wish I could have them like this but now it's too late because they have been plucked quite a while, quite a long time because I'm now, I'm 43 as you know so I plucked them for maybe not 20 years but almost. So I could, I could not have this kind of brows, but I think it's wonderful. You can see it sometimes on, on young people and it's beautiful. And if you, if you think a little bit, you see that um, thick brows uh, make, make, make you look young and very thin ones make you look older. So that's why also I like to have mine quite thick, which is not very thick, but it's compared to some others, it's, it's okay. And I think in France, we. Well, now as we are very influenced by American culture and videos and YouTube and etc. and beauty, I think more and more French girls begin to, to draw or pluck their, um, their brows like American girls, but maybe we have a, a, a culture a little bit different from some others because I think we still have this will of natural looking. So we well, I, I can't talk for every French woman or young girl, especially because they, they are very, the more they are young, the more they are influenced by the America. But I think there is, I don't see so many girls drawing it very harshly and putting, putting concealer under it to, to do it more harsh again. And I don't think it's very, very French, not yet. Maybe it will become, but not yet, I think. So for me, I like it uh, quite thick and I, would, I like them denser, you know. I don't want to change the, the line, that, that, that is okay for me, but I like when they are very quite strong. I like strong brows. And so you see today I have just my foundation and some lipstick. Well, just my foundation and concealer and powder and blusher, of course, just my face. But I like to have my... to... to to, to do my brows because I don't really need it. I, of course I can go outside like this and it's okay, but I really like to, to, make, to make them up. Is that how you use the word makeup as a verb? Is that I really like to make them up? Well, I, I hope you understand what I mean. And my favorite products for this are number one, the Sukyu, how do they call it? The Sukyu, it's an eyebrow pencil. You see, it's like a, like an eyeliner. It's a small pencil, and this one is in a moss green. It's kind of a khaki, uh, a khaki gray, something like that. I will show you on my hand. And it is this product is amazing because it is so. It it allows you to draw so fine lines, so fine thing. You can literally draw little hair with it, and it's very. It's not a strong color, so you don't see it very well. But you see, you can really fill the little places very precisely, I and mean, it's amazing. I discovered it thanks to Liza Eldridge, 
and I love this stuff. It's really amazing. It's expensive, of course, but it's really worth it. And it's totally, totally long wearing. You can scratch your brows if you want during the day, it won't move. It's really amazing. I love this stuff. Then I have powder, of course. And for me, it's new because I didn't, it's not very easy to find Anastasia uh, brow products in France. So this one was brought to me by a friend who is living in America. And it's the, it's medium brown. And I find it very handy because you can use the, the lighter one on the head of your brow because you don't want a strong square head, very hardly designed. And the darker one, you can use it on the rest of your brow, on the, on the tail, for instance. But if you have, if you have um, MAC eyeshadows, look, it's almost the same of these two ones. This is Omega, this is Brown. Uh, sometimes I use copper plate. I like it very much because I don't like yellow or red or pink uh, products in my brows, really not. But if you compare these two ones with these two ones, it's really quite similar, or with this one, or you can mix these two ones. And this is my brow palette, my MAC brow palette. This is copper plate, um, Omega, Brun and Concrete. And with this, you can, you can do brows on anyone. It's really, it's perfect, I think. And I use, the, I use very often the lightest colors on me. Even if, I'm, if my, brow is, uh, my brows are dark, I think it's better to, to, be, to be prudent and careful with the, the colors. And the last thing is my, um, it's a brow pencil. The brand is L'Atelier du Maquillage, which means, uh, which means, uh, well, I don't find it now. Okay, it's, never mind. It's a brand uh, made by, um, by uh, a beauty salon specialized in brows. So they, they really do nice products for brows. And the color of the, the, the pencil is really nice because it's, it's, quite, it's quite light. It's taupe, it's a taupe one. It's not an orange, um, orange or, or rosy. Sometimes you have uh, pencils for, or crayon, I don't know how you call it, but for brows, very often it's quite orange. It's horrible, it's just not natural at all. And this one is very natural. And the, the little spoolie on this, uh, the other side is really nice. But I think that Anastasia must have this kind of product. Very, You must find it very easy if you have Anastasia in your, in your country. So, how I, I, will, I will do my brows with this because it's what I use uh, nowadays. Well, this time, I don't know, I want very, very strong brows. So, I will show you how I do them. Okay. It's quite easy. I try not to put too much in the head because it's very unnatural. So you really want to keep the strongest place here in the end. And I have to extend this one a little bit because it's shorter than the other one. Then I will brush a bit with that just to make it more natural and I don't tend to use clear gel to maintain them in place I mean if they are not in place I will brush them during the day and it's okay you see it's quite different it's not too hard but it's different and this one is more sparse in the head so I tend to put a little bit more product here on this one not to get a very thick, dark, square head, but to make it similar to the other one. Even if you can't have similar brows, of course. As you know, they are not twins, they are sisters. So if they are not exactly the same... My God, what, what are my neighbors doing? Playing football in their living room? Even if they are not absolutely similar, it's okay, because nature is like this. And you want to mimic it a, a bit. You don't want it to be totally unnatural. And this this pencil is really awesome because it's very hard. It's not greasy at all. It's not a cold pencil, of course, obviously. And it stays very well during the day. So, 
let me put the camera in the right position. Oops, that was not the right position. So you see, it's, it's really, they are really quite hard, very dense and present and very quite in your face brows, but I like it very much. I don't know. These days I like it very much. I tend to put even more. I don't know why. But as you saw on my smoky video, on my French smoky video, if I make very, very heavy makeup on the eyes, I try not to make a heavy makeup on the brows because it will be too much. It will be like, ugh, really too much. So I prefer to have strong brows. Here I will put probably just mascara. I prefer to have strong brows if I have not a strong makeup on the eyes and the contrary also because both together, all together, all, all strong, I think it's not, it's not very, very nice. But you see, I don't try to have it very precise and sharp and you see, I, I, I try to keep it quite natural. So, I hope it answers to your questions and uh, interests about French brows and and I'd like very much to know how people, well, how girls do their brows in the country, in your country, because I think it's very different from one country to another. And, and did you overplug them? And I'm sorry, the light is changing, like, oof, it's all green. Wow, wow, beautiful, my God. I'm looking like a ghost. <clears throat> but I'd like very much to know, yeah, to know how it is in your country, how you do them, how most people do them. I, I love brows. It's really, I'm obsessed with brows, as I told you. So, well, have a good day and see, see you soon. Bye.